Hey, what's up, Blackbolt Show here. Today we are going to discuss season three of Netflix's original show, The Umbrella Academy. This is based off the Dark Horse comics. Um, I have not read the, the books. I do know that there's a lot of differences between the books and the show. I'm very nervous to read the books because I know the difference, um, that there is a big difference. I love the show. The show is very well done, season one to season two to season three. It's all one continuous plot. And it's so cool how time is always manipulated. Time is always a, a, a big factor of the um, of the plot points because it's just what they do. You know, all those siblings are back. But at the end of season two, there's a resetting of time, right? There's a resetting to save the universe again because of Vanya creating another apocalypse. Inadvertently, but it happened. Um, she saved Harlan. Their season one to season two was... Five inadvertently flashing them all to 1963, then getting out of 1963, and then now that they're out of 1963, they're back in time, they're back in 2019, but it's not their timeline. It's a different timeline. So the Umbrella Academy is now the Sparrow Academy. Why did Reginald Hargrove create the, Sp the Sparrow Academy in this timeline? What happened to the Umbrella Academy? So it's revealed that after meeting them in the 60s, he realized how horrible of the humans that they actually were, that he wanted nothing to do with them, so he did not adopt them because they didn't exist, because things happened. And so he adopted the other kids that were born at that time period, October 1st, 1989, to create uh, the Sparrow Academy. So Ben is alive now in in this aspect. He's, he's number two. Um, there's the seven of the sparrows versus the seven umbrellas. There's a Footloose dance-off. There's, there's so many, there's so much music in this. There's constant karaoke, there's singing, there's dancing, but it's a heavy season bro whoa there's a kugel blitz involved which is essentially a black hole which is created from the paradox of all of them being there the grandfather paradox is explained many a times it's so cool if if and i'll explain it the grandson doesn't like the abuse that the grandfather is causing him and his mom right and so he creates a time machine to go back in time to kill his grandfather but Therefore, he does not exist anymore because he killed his grandfather. And the only reason he exists is because his grandfather and grandmother had his mom, who then had him. But if he killed his grandfather, he doesn't exist. So, grandfather paradox, right? Killing your own existence by killing a family member. So, how are the Umbrellas still functioning humans in 2019 if they don't exist anymore? If all their mothers somehow died inadvertently because of Harlan as a grown-up, so cool of a plot point. But how does that, how are they still functioning? It's not really explained, but that's the cool part of it. It's a paradox. Five meeting his older self, who turns out to be, he's the one who started the commission in the first place. So cool. Um, Reg keeping up with the whole alien, pretending to be human bit, um, trying to get the Hotel Obsidian to the Hotel Oblivion, um, which is the last focal point of the universe as the Kugelblitz is eating everything alive, but it's it's Luther falling in love with Sloane and getting married hours before the apocalypse. All these different things. Klaus figuring out and finding out how to actually control his death abilities, his Prince of Darkness abilities, as he calls him. Uh, Luther calls him the King of Death, but Klaus likes the, to be called the, the Prince of Darkness, and I'm fine for that. Him being in the void where he, quote-unquote, belongs, according to Reg. Um... Just the, the character development of, of all the different characters. Allison getting a dark side in this, I really enjoyed. Not many people, not, not, not many people liked it, but I, I definitely enjoyed it. Uh, Diego and Lila being together for all of it, being the perfect duo that they are. So cool. Did we talk about five? We talked about five. But uh, Vanya accepting that they're Victor, and they're going to use he, pro he, him pronouns as Victor, to have Elliot Page, the actor, transition in real life, and to have uh, Elliot's character of Vanya transition to Victor in the show, so cool. That doesn't happen. And to have it actually represented and accepted and celebrated and then be such a trivial point where it's just like, okay, well, this is who you've always been. Let's go on to the whole ending of the universe thing. I loved how it was handled. Love how it was handled. It was brought up. It was talked about very briefly. Do you have a problem with this? No. Awesome. Let's talk about the apocalypse. Do you want a party of celebration? Do you feel loved? Yes, I do feel loved. Thank you very much. Okay, what do we do next to save the world? It's just in the same breath. There wasn't a big to do about it. It was just acceptance. It was, this is what it is. 
There's nothing to question. It is what it is. Let's go on. Let's figure out how to save the world. I absolutely loved it. Representation matters in tenfold, especially within this show, especially within the last review we talked about, Red, White, and Royal Blue. Representation matters all through, through and through. That was cool. I didn't plan on that rhyming, but that, that, was, that was pretty neat. So now that the universe has been saved, is Luther still potentially dead? Is he just trapped in the void now? Who knows? But where'd all their powers go? If they're back in their original timeline, but now Reg is back again in the original timeline, as he always does, because you can't kill this lizard man. Um, who is the person on the moon that Luther happened to be guarding this entire time? Is that Reg's alien wife? So many unanswered questions. I'm, it's probably referenced in the books. Again, I'm very nervous to read the books because I know so many differences are actually within the books compared to the show. The show is so well done. The actor's doing an absolutely incredible job. Aiden playing Five is such an amazing character. He's such an, a talent. He's just so talented. So talented. Um, I'm very nervous if I do decide to read the books years from now. Um, but the Umbrella Academy is just such a, a wonderful, wonderful show. The the heart-to-hearts that Ben and, and Klaus got to have, talking about Klaus's Ben versus the Sparrow Ben. Absolutely loved it. Love this show. I cannot wait for the next season. On to the next review. Mucho